Hey, what's up? Today I'll be updating iOS 6 to iOS 7 on the iPad Mini. First, we go to settings, software update. Yeah, it says iOS 7, which is 716 megabytes. Which this update features a beautiful new design. It contains hundreds of new features, including Control Center, AirDrop, iTunes Radio, improvements to Notification Center, Multicasting, Camera, Photos, Safari, Siri, and more. Which is a long list. But, download and install. It may take a while. Twenty three minutes remaining. So now it's finished downloading and preparing the download of iOS seven. So we're installing right now. Now it's verifying the update. And this is the biggest update for iOS in its in its history. Hopefully the bugs that I encountered in beta one is all common sense prepared or fixed. It may take a few minutes to verify the update since there's a lot of people in the world downloading iOS 7 at the same time. So since a few hours later of trying to install iOS 7 but to confirm from the server, right now it's been in like backlog from a lot of people downloading iOS 7 at once. So let's try it now again. So now let's try verifying the update. As you can see here, you can see a new Apple logo, which now it's loading iOS 7. The Apple logo right now is flat, and even the loading screen it used to be a little bit wider in iOS 6 and before. Now it's thin. Good thing I was able to download iOS 7 a little bit earlier before more of the mass of the people trying to download it. So I got 20 minutes of downloading iOS 7. While now, today, at this time in 8.30, when people are downloading iOS 7 and so, it may take them 2, 4, or almost like 8 hours to download iOS 7. For a file size, that's nearly almost one gigabyte.
So right now the upgrade to iOS 7 to iOS 6 is almost done. So as I can estimate it's around 98, 99% done. Which now as I said before the iOS 7 is one of the biggest changes in iOS history. And even there's rumors that have been confirmed or not confirmed with the user agents and so on. Which iOS 7, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, and 7.1 is being worked on. But now you'll see the first boot up of iOS 7 on the iPad Mini. As you can see, new Apple icon, which is flat instead of a curve with the Apple. And as of this first upgrade to iOS 7, what previous upgrade, you'll see a bar which to optimize and what so on. And now, slide the setup. Which now it says update complete. The iPad was successfully updated, but they have, have to do some more. Enable location services. I got to enter the password. As since this is the first setup of iOS 7, the malware sets the first thing is to enable to location services or disable. And then now it's iMessage and FaceTime. And find my iPad on iOS 7. Which I'll continue. And I got to enter a passcode. And welcome to iPad. Get started. And it says spotlight has moved, which you slide down and you'll see the spotlight. And I'll put FaceTime where it belongs. And as you can see here, it's completely overhauled. The first thing you'll notice is the clock icon is moving. Contacts, calendar, which today is the 18th. The clock. The App Store. No updates. Safari. Let's go try the basics. The Google. And settings is also overhaul too. And a new um, what you call notification center, control center, and Siri. What's the weather today? Uh, it seems like Siri has... I don't know where you are, but you can help me find out. 
So I gotta re enable it. So iOS 7 and iOS beta, iOS 7 beta 1. There's some differences, but mostly not really much of a difference to me. And Spotlight. So I hope you all enjoyed upgrade. Enjoy about upgrading iPad Mini to iOS 6 to iOS 7.